Man, what's up everybody, 2020? Another year, another struggle as we call it. But uh, today I want to talk about this, this narrative that we're pushing, which is a very interesting narrative, Smart Africa. It's all over. It's an initiative uh, that started actually uh, by the president of Rwanda and now has grown to a lot of different countries. But one of the things about Smart Africa that it's, it's missing, it's that we talk, when we talk about Smart Africa, what do we hear? We hear mostly about, you know, FinTech, payment solution, uh, et cetera. But we're lacking on the smart energy solution or system. And that's what I want to talk about. What Smart Africa should include and incorporate across Africa? We are now joined live here in studio with Henry Nyakarundi, the successful and innovative entrepreneur from Rwanda. Grand plaisir d'accueillir aujourd'hui Henry Nyakarundi. Pour en parler, l'équipage reçoit son concepteur, Monsieur Henry Nyakarundi. If we don't extend our hand to the next generation, then we only have ourselves to blame for their failure. So you know what's so crazy when you hear about Smart Africa, and I, I've, I've dealt with you know the, the the idea of Smart Africa. And it's always technology related, mostly around fintech, uh, focus on mostly in urban settings, and uh, you cannot build a smart continent or smart city or, or smart anything without having a smart energy system. And that's what's, you know, lacking tremendously in Africa, man. If you look at the, 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 the solution, we're focusing mostly on renewable energy uh, companies. Everybody's doing their own thing. There's no uh, centralized communication system now with technology. Uh, you can pretty much uh, interconnect uh, energy production. So you see this whole value chain is very fragmented and, and, and not putting an emphasis of, of what uh, what it should be. One of the areas in, 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 in the smart energy system that is lacking tremendously is how to utilize biomass. Biomass has huge potential, man. and I, maybe I'll do a vlog about biomass, especially, you know, agricultural waste. Um, we, we, we generate 70 to 80% of the waste we generate in Africa is biomass agricultural waste. It, it's massive and there's, there, there's a lot of byproduct you can do with agricultural waste. You know, uh, energy, fertilizer, a lot of different things and, and unfortunately we are not utilizing properly. Some get burned, some get just thrown away, which blows my mind. And and the thing about this, this solution is we need to find a way, part of the, the, the the smart energy system. You need to combine the different energy system into one big entity. Another, another great aspect of biomass is now small areas, small district, for example, you know, or small sectors, or small villages can now generate their own energy by utilizing biomass and building their own small biomass system locally you know it create jobs it create energy you know of course you need a, a, a knowledge transfer some technical know-how but you can easily do that most of the energy that that we produce is mostly centralized um, if you talk about fossil fuel you gotta buy fossil fuel forever they, they produce it it's 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 a lot of money then you have to distribute you no know, why you decentralize the, the, the system and allow a much better, you know, local villages, or district, local communities to produce their own system and, and in, integrate biomass into that aspect. So smart, smart energy system is definitely the future. It's much more efficient. It decentralizes the system. You can control the system remotely. You don't necessarily have to, uh, um, Control, you, you don't necessarily have to centralize everything. You can control decentralized system, but m most efficient, m most importantly, you can now know exactly how people consume your energy. 
and you can add more functionalities. Let's say, because one of the biggest challenge of, of uh, renewable energy is it fluctuates, like, like solar, for example. You know, uh, peak hours, you produce a, a certain amount. Downtime, you produce a lower amount. And, and storage is very expensive. But when you combine the different solutions, renewable energy, wind, biomass, and I'm sure there's other thermal, uh, thermal solution. You can add to this module because it's decentralized. You can custom base on. If it's a small community, they don't need a big, uh, um, a big solution. And finally, it's job creation. When you're able to generate your own energy, you can create jobs. You know, you can have your own technicians. You can have the own people monitoring the system and, and adding if it's biomass and all those things. So uh, I hope Smart Africa will incorporate that aspect because that can really be a game changer for Africa.